This is It's a Little Better with Music Mastery and today we'll be talking about entering the water or the spit from the French horn. So the first thing that I want to address is that many people when they learn they're taught that there's a bunch of spit in the horn from like the condensation of blowing out and that is true um, but to be a little more classy it's best to try and use water instead of spit because if you're having a conversation with somebody and you say yeah I just spit my horn around and spit comes flying out that can be not the greatest conversation starters so if you say water instead like for example I have a spit valve over here um, but instead I could call that a water key and I take the water and I spin it out so that's just a little tip I guess um, but anyway so when I do to check the water in my horn I always know that there's gonna if I hear it most likely it's gonna be in three different spots so the way that I learned first is well first off make sure that your mouthpiece is in there don't like slam it in there and if you are a little scared you can take it out and make sure it's in a safe spot don't put on something that could fall over, but make sure it's in there. Just like screw it a little bit, just to make sure it's not gonna fly out when we spin it. But then you're gonna take your horn and you're gonna spin it this way, so clockwise, and you're gonna move the valves as you do that. You go around and around, maybe like two times if you have to time in between a piece or anything, and then just, just go like that and move the valves. If it doesn't come out there, then I say, okay, and I flip it over my knee, so I have it resting on this side, and this little slide right here, so the one that's closest to the bell, and it may look different on your horn, but it's gonna be whatever slide is closest to your bell. You're gonna take that out as it's upside down, and you're just gonna put it over like that. And sometimes it can be in this other slide over here, um, but most likely it will be in this one that is closest to the bell. And then I flip it back over, get a better grip, put it on my knee, and if it's easier for you to take out both sides of this third valve, to see the double sides here, if it's easier to take out both, then go for it, um, but you can also just maneuver your hand and make sure that you're holding down the trigger and the third valve as you do this so that the air doesn't build up. You take out the third and you just, whatever way, you just spin it and you can like do that a little bit because most likely it'll be in there as well. And then just keep that third valve down as you put it back in. And it should be fine. But if you find, oh no, there's still more spin there as I'm moving my valves around, um, give it a few more spins. Then also, a little trick is that you can blow into the horn and push down different valves. And whatever valve, with trigger or without trigger, you hear, um, it has like water because you can hear the water going. You can say, okay, it's going to be in that side. So if I go like this with the first valve and I hear water, I'll go, okay, so it's going to be this. So since I wasn't pushing trigger, it'll be this top one. Because you have to remember, all the slides are on that second row below this top one, it's the one that has trigger with it. So if I hear it, first valve, no trigger, it's going to be in this top one. So I take the top one out, shake that out. But if I hear it in like, uh, two and three with trigger, then I would go and check the second and third slides on the bottom. So that's a good little trick that I use. But yeah, most likely it'll just be either spinning if you have the time, but if you need to be fast, just flip it over, take out that second two, shake that, and you should be good. But if, and then so the first one I do is that one, and then second is this bottom third valve, and then five times spin it, and if I'm really struggling, spin it a bunch more, you can even do the other way, or just like nice and slow, you know, and then doing the little trick with the valves just to make sure. Hope this was helpful. Bye.